It's a celebration that happens three times a year in Aggieland, but no matter the frequency, the occasion is always special. Aggie Ring Day, a culmination of years of hard work, and for Texas Aggie shortstop Austin Holman, a family tradition. I pretty much bled maroon my whole life, and when I got the call that, you know, Coach Taylor wanted me to come on a uh, visit here, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. Holman's grandfather was a junction boy. His mother, Beth, attended Texas A&M and passed the Aggie spirit onto Austin, as well as his father and brother. Her love for it was contagious. It was so, uh, it was so genuine. For Austin to be able to come to A&M was just a dream come true. They could have offered him a sandwich if he'd have been here. But on Holman's big day as an Aggie, his biggest fan was absent. I know right now she's up, you know, she's up there smiling, looking down, and she's probably crying. And for me to have this, it, it means something that you, words really can't explain. Getting off at the bottom of third for Texas A&M, shortstop. Holman. The Holman family origins can be traced not only to the days of Bear Bryant, but to a faraway land. Austin's mother and his father Robin met in the summer of 1981 when Robin was working for Beth's father in the oil industry in Abu Dhabi. He and I became close. For whatever reason, he liked me. And I remember walking into his office one day and I uh, had a picture of four daughters there on, on his bookshelf and he was telling me about them, and I kept thinking, wait a minute, go back to Beth, go back to this one. Beth's family came to visit Abu Dhabi that summer, and she and Robin soon began to date. When she graduated from Texas A&M, the couple got married in 1984 and quickly had a first son, Nick. Nine years later came Austin, and the Holman Quartet was complete. Beth was an, inc it was an incredible mother. Uh, I always accused her of hiding the book that they sent home from the hospital and not letting me read it because I don't know how she came up with, knew the things that she just knew. Growing up playing baseball, Robin often would go support Nick when Big Bro played at Houston Baptist. So Austin spent hours on the road with his mom going to games. Those drives spawned his favorite memory of his mother. I love to, I love to listen to her sing. She had, a, uh, she had an amazing voice. Um, we would, uh, you know, whenever we were going to baseball games, she'd crank up the radio and listen. We listen to country music and she loved uh, Reba McIntyre, Shania Twain. And I always thought, I was like, man, mom, you're just as good as them. But as good as things seemed, not everything was perfect. She, uh, she had a drinking problem, unfortunately. She was, um, you know, it's a disease and it happens. It went downhill, um, you know, and she, we, I actually put her through a couple of rehabs, uh, twat two different times, and um, that more or less, I guess, led you know, to our divorce. When Austin was in high school, his mother's drinking got worse. I didn't really want to be around it. I didn't want to be around her. Um, but as I got older, I realized, you know, when I, about the time I was 18, got into college, I realized, you know, it's my mom. You know, I'll always love her. She gave birth to me no matter what. Though his personal life wasn't easy, Holman was making a name for himself on the diamond. Aggies add to their lead. RBI single for Holman. He spent two years starring at San Jacinto College before earning himself a starting spot on Texas A&M's 2016 Super Regional squad. Well, he brings an edge to him, and all that he does, I mean, he's competitive. He hates losing more, and he enjoys winning, and it's all about, you know, finding a way, and he certainly finds a way in any opportunity that he gets defensively or offensively. And Austin's success at A&M brought his biggest fan the greatest joy. Every time I'd see her, she'd cry about it. Um, it was just, I don't think there's any gift that could have been given to her that was any more special than that. But as Austin turned towards his senior season, his mother's health began to get worse. The years of drinking was causing her body's organs to shut down. You know, one of the weekends I came back before this stuff happened, I remember, you know, we had kind of had an argument. You know, we had an argument. She had told me she had, you know, collapsed and she wasn't eating and I blew up on her. I was like, Mom, you know, this is, you know, pretty terrible. I told her, Mom, you're going to die. If you don't take care of your body, you don't go see a doctor, you're going to die.
Three days later, she entered the hospital on October 29th, 2016, with her family by her side, Beth Homan passed away. Um, you know, it makes you put a little more value on life, you know, realize how quick things can change. The Homan men would lean on each other even more over the next few days. Always a tight-knit crew, their mother's death brought them even closer. My brother's my best friend. He always has been. Me and my brother have always been extremely close and I remember you know for the first month or so I mean we were both pretty upset we were both definitely rattled about it and both of us are in the same about the same way we don't want to talk about anything and so I think we for both of us we kind of talk to each other as a, as a dad that you know that's just so rewarding for me to see is that how much they actually genuinely love and, and care about each other soon it was time for Austin to return to his second family here in Aggieland with Beth's Aggie ring in his possession. <laughs> Texas A&M baseball became Homan's release, a much needed distraction from everything off the field. All the coaches were calling him and texting him and telling him, hey, we love you, uh, we're here for you. Uh, that, was, uh, that was just amazing. Definitely escape from reality in a way. It's it's a way to get out and get your mind off certain things. And that was especially coming back. You know, they co coaches told me, you know, you can you can take another you can take as many days off as you want. You can, so I want you to be with your family. And I was like, no, I, I want to be back. It's a couple of the older guys that have been closer with him. You know, we were just kind of all comforting him throughout the time, as well as Coach Childress is really good at that. And I think that he just kind of tells himself that he's you know playing for her. And so when he's on the field, he just goes all out. As, as you can see during the games. One of five seniors on the Aggies roster, Holman plays a crucial role at the shortstop position as one of the leaders of the team. He brings his mom's memory with him to every at bat and keeps her Aggie ring close by. Since high school, I've always kissed my cross, but you know, it's kind of those things. I still, I'll say, you know, before every bat, I'll kind of close my eyes and say something to her, you know. I keep my necklace, I keep her necklace on me, but so she's, you know, always there with me, I feel like. In April, when Austin followed in his mother's footsteps and received his ring, it was more important than any RBI he'll ever get. Being an Aggie and getting his ring and playing baseball for just this amazing program um, is maybe in his mind just a, a way to give something back to his mother. I know um, she'd be really proud of me right now. Uh, I know it's something that made her really proud of me being here. With the postseason around the corner, the Aggies will be playing for a trip to Omaha. Holman will be there every step of the way with a mother's love and the Aggie spirit to guide him. If there's one thing you could say to your mom, what would you say? It would just have to be, Mom, I love you. I love you more than anything in the world. I wish you were still here. <laughs>